Yes, we're a human tornado. All right, welcome to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So this is now in version 1.0. Now that means there's new stuff, right? So let's see what is new. Let's clear all. I like that little clear button. That's nice. Unit customization, we, we've already seen that before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Oh my God, this music is... We've got World of Thieves. We played that one. City of the Lost Crusades played that one as well. Avalanche Canyon played that one. We've got a flat test map. We've got World of Imperium. Oh my god, we've got an arena. So we've got an arena. We've got a city, and then we've got a castle on a hill? No way, I gotta see that, man. And then we've also got Volcano. Oh my. Can you have people fighting on the volcano? And then what's this last one? Modern City? Okay, so that would be good for... Do we have do we have a modern faction? We have World War II. Inanimate. How many inanimate objects? We... <laughs> I don't even know why that's a thing. I don't know why. What's festive? We got still just saying enough for festive. There's only a few new units, I believe. Animals. Who we got? We got kangaroo T-Rexes. Those were in the last update that we didn't cover. But we've got World War II soldiers. And I we've got zombies, runner zombies, and skeleton warriors. Oh yeah. All right, so let's see. What map should we fight on? You know what? I'm gonna do zombie outbreak. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, everybody, Baron here. Welcome back, right? So we've got some Germans with some bolt action rifles. What are those little red things on their chests? What's what you got? What you hiding in your pockets is? What's in my pockets is? What movie's that from, guys? All right, so we've got the Germans or the Nazis here, and they are going to have to deal with something that they created. So what do we have? Well, let's just start the battle and find out. So we've got a lot of new abilities. There's also this new God Mode ability. Check this out. Oh, we've got wind. <laughs> Now get back up and defend yourselves, Germans! Oh no, they're all stuck in place. They're, they're letting out their gunfire though. They're targeting, look at this. We've got Nazi runners, Nazi runners, zombie runners, look at them. So we've got fast zombies, we've got slow zombies, we've got the new skeleton warriors. Oh my god, these guys are fast. This is gonna be interesting. I don't think, I don't know if the Germans are gonna have enough firepower, let's see. Now, there are ragdoll physics now for the units. You'll see them die and, like, fall over. I think if they get hit in the right way... Let, let's try this. You know what? The Germans, they are about to be overrun. We need to use the secret weapon. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. So we're going to use the wind. <laughs> this is awesome. I wonder if we can blow them on top of buildings. That would be really funny. Let's try it. Let's try it. They're going to use God Mode! <laughs> yes, we're a human tornado. And by human, I mean I am... Whoa. They clearly went through that uh, building there. Oh, man. These skeletons are getting close, actually. Hack one of them. Do it. Yes. He stabbed him. All right. Are you going to kill him? Oh, he did. He's killed one. Why are they not looking at him? Okay, they just did. All right. Here's the epic clash. Oh no, these poor Germans are going to get cut to ribbons once the zombies close the ranks because we have runners in the back. You know what? But let's take a look at this modern city. Look, we've got this overpass. Maybe with this epic music playing, we should use. We should put them on the overpass. That would be pretty epic. We got the Nazi runners, the Nazi zombies. When I, you know, the Nazi zombies, let's be honest, guys. If anyone would have invented the zombies, it would probably would have been the Nazis. And here they are. It is the fall of the Fourth Reich. You see, because... I don't know if you guys are aware of this. But in an alternate narrative, what if Adolf and the Nazi party fled from Germany down to New Swabia, which was in... Da, 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 Antarctica. And then... Did you guys ever hear about Operation High Jump? I believe it was called Operation High Jump. The Americans sent this armed contingent of like these icebreaker warships and then a lot of troops and aircraft down to Antarctica. Why would you do that? Because the Germans had claimed this area called New Swabia um, like, I don't know, in the 30s, the 1930s. Oh my god, these skeleton warriors are bosses and they are killing, they're killing their creators. 
The Germans! The evil Germans. You know, there's there's the good Germans and the bad Germans. These also bad Germans. And I know there's probably like a few Germans just shaking their head like, oh gosh, we just can't escape it, can we? Well, you can't escape this! I'm just kidding. There was the, there was the Wehrmacht or the Wehrmacht and then there was the Nazis, right? I mean, that's the thing in war, you know? There may be a bad team, but not everybody's bad. Look at these guys, man, getting cut to ribbons. Anyway, there's this fun theory that, you know, the Germans invented UFOs and they were surviving in Antarctica for a long time. It's like conspiracy theory stuff, but it's really fun to read about and, uh, and just like theorize. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit to the menu as I go over. We need an Antarctica map and we need submarines, guys. That's what we need, oh my gosh. I'm gonna do that in Ravenfield. I'm gonna make a new Swabia. Uh, Germany map when modding is available. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta get these guys. How, can I click on them? I, need, I would like to. Yeah. Now we're gonna rotate. And we're gonna put them on this overpass. Yeah. And then I wanna have, I wanna have the zombies attacking from another way. All right. So we're gonna have this big group coming this way you know what I wonder if we have any artillery or heavy weaponry wild man Persians I don't need any of that that's for dang sure let's go with oh yeah we want let's have a few dressers all right where are the dressers where were they just put what color are they brown oh there they are now let's put them in a, a one or maybe 0.5 put them in a 0.5 formation so these guys are going to be protected by an army of <laughs> barricade of dressers. This is going to be so silly. But you know what? The Germans are barricaded on this overpass and the zombies are coming in. And this is what it's going to be like, guys. The fall of the Force Reich is happening. Um, yep, they are on the same team and let, let's start the battle. And now we got to remember that you can alternate god powers between nuclear missiles and this wind power. And the wind power is so wunderbar. Now, I'm... Oh, do you think we could put snipe... Look at this! Yeah, they're barricaded by the dressers. It is the German holdout. <laughs> they're overlapping. I'm stuck in the dresser, Hans. Hans, protect me. Oh, my God. Guys? See, and, and you, you thought... I was joking about Nazi UFOs. Clearly, they have developed jet uh, rockets, backpacks, and then we've got these poor guys on the bottom. Now, why are you on the bottom and not on this overpass? So they're like, well, you know, we're going to have a problem. We're all going to die. That's how they're all going to talk, okay? Terrible, stereotypical German accents. Let's start the battle. All right. So, <laughs> we've broken the game, guys. We have broken the game. We've got Nazi UFOs. Do, 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 do. What is this? Is this what I think it is? German Nazi technology. Oh my god, the dressers are attacking? What? We, what is happening? So, the Germans were known for uh, wonder weapons in World War II, right? Well, here you go. They've developed attacking dressers. This is impossible. Impossible or improbable? Let's go ahead and, uh, how do I hide the... Yeah, we're gonna put cinematography mode on. And you know what these dressers have? Oh my god, the German Nazi dressers? They're super powered! You know what? They're gonna use them as artillery! Bl what? I can't even blow the dressers. Well, that sounded awkward, didn't it? We can't blow the dressers. Oh my god, are we killing them? Blow! Yeah, that's right. We gotta push the zombie hordes back. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the... Uh, wait, did this tree just move? Can I blow over these trees? Alright, now what if I press 1? I'm pretty sure here, let's... We have nuke abilities, so as soon as things go bad... This is so derpy. These dressers, man, and the riflemen on the uh, battlements, but... <laughs> Wait, hold on. All right, we're gonna go back to wind, and I'm gonna try to blow these guys off of this. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fire them at the zombie horde. Three, two, one. Initialize Hans. Hans. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, they all died. 
guys, what are you doing? He's like, I'm, I'm super, I'm the Ubermensch. We're standing over here. Get to the railing. Do it. Oh my god, I didn't mean to throw all of them. Oh, right, you know what? We gotta. Oh, yeah. Yo, Hans, how are you doing now? We've got Hans und Fritz und um, Jäger Schnitzel. <laughs> And the Zabina Schnitzel. I, I'm, I'm running out of German names. We've got Lucas Podolski and Philip Lahm. And Bastian Schweinsteiger. Marco Royce. Mario Götze. Mario Gomez. We got the Super Mario Brothers here. Mario Götze and Mario Royce. Wait. Mario Gomez. <laughs> Marco Royce. So these skeletons not very efficient at fighting the uh, dresser army. Oh, uh, that. We've got runners that are stuck. Why are they moving so slow? Maybe they need a little kick in the pants. Oh, I know. The breath of life, AKA the wind. Oh, I'm God. Oh my God. I'm gonna fling the zombies on top of there. It's a siege mechanic. Attack. <laughs> oh no, they're all dying. Yeah, they all kind of died. And then look how derpy that is, man. They just died on the railings. All right, guys, we need to all right, you know what? And the Germans are getting affected. We're in we're in Oklahoma, or Kansas, or wherever the tornado alley is, because we got tornadoes. <laughs> I love the guys flying in the air. It's so fun. But you know what they say, guys? If you can't beat them, nuke them. Oh, nuclear power! Who wins? Who wins? The zombies are victorious. It's the zombies first and last to die, I guess. They were turned, the Germans and their scientists were turned upon by their own weapons. And that was the zombies. All right, guys, look at this. This is the new map. We've got this Roman style arena up here, but obviously, whoa, where's my, oh God, are they, oh my God, we've got Spartans on these. All right, so they derped. I put 300 Spartans here. And I'm surrounding them by Persian warriors. Obviously, what is this? They're random nuts. <laughs> All right, but we've got the Persian warriors here surrounding these Spartans. But wait till you see what we've got in this Roman-style arena. And then we've got more Persians. But in the Roman arena, da, 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 let's go through the window. Hey! Oh my God, this is gonna be epic. Oh yes! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's with the herp a derp nerp? All right, we've got wild men and wild men and then Chuck Norris in the middle. Let's see who's going to win the tournament of the champions. Oh my God. Look at these effects. Hold on. Look at Chuck Norris. He's just kicking everybody. Dude, he cannot be stopped. <laughs> this is amazing. He's got these sonic booms and now there's effects. There's ragdoll effects or what seems to be ragdoll effects for the bodies here. So Chuck Norris is just wrecking house. All right, so while Chuck Norris is doing the darn thing, we're going out here. Where are you guys going? Where are they running away? Where are the Persians? They were supposed to surround these guys, but they decided to run away. Here's the Persians fighting the Spartans here. And now, you know what? You know what they need. I know what you're thinking. Oh, wait, wait. We gotta press this. The Spartans call upon, uh, who is the goddess of war, or the god of war? A Ares? No. Ares, god of war, right? Greeks? And he summoned from Olympus itself. Oh! Yeah, that's right. I don't even know if the Spartans get, get blown off. All right, let's see these guys. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Ready? <laughs> yes! Land in the water! Land in the water! Oh, there's no splashes. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, but you know what? The Spartans being outnumbered, that doesn't mean they're outgunned. Oh, I don't even think the Spartans get blown around, but they do get slaughtered. All right, let's see who won the Tournament of Champions. Was it our hero, Chuck Norris? Of course it was. Wait a minute. You can leave the turn. Wait a minute. Where'd Chuck go? Is Chuck dead? Oh my God, how do we have... What is happening? What is... Why is this guy golden? I don't know what's happening here, guys. Did Chuck Norris die? Wait, we gotta turn on the HUD. <gasps> I think Chuck Norris died. Unless he's stuck here. 
What's what's going on here, guys? Is there a way through? What? Some of these guys have escaped. And now they're running towards the Persians? Is that what's happening? Okay, you know what? Enough of that. I think Chuck Norris may have died. But here's the thing. We're going to watch this. Are you ready for epicness? Of course you are. Of course you are. That is why you're here. We are going to zoom in. Now there's this, these new heroes. So we're going to go ahead and make... We're going to get our four teams ready. We're going to have the Tournament of Champions. Heroes. 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 And heroes. We're going to have one Golden Knight. We're going to have one Chuck Norris. We're going to have... Whoa, mate. That's, that's the wrong one. We're going to have one Elven Huntress. And we're going to have one Soul Tyrant. I don't know what these units do. But I know what you're thinking. Of course you're thinking what I'm thinking. We've got to put them in here. In the Tournament of Champions. Only one can be crowned victor, and we will find out who that is. Everybody is set to attack immediately, so obviously things are going to be very entertaining. Turn around, you idiot. We need you to face the enemy. And then finally, the blue, which is the Elven Huntress. It's an archer of sorts. So, we're going to start the battle. We're going to see who is going to be victorious in the Tournament of Heroes. Come on. Put me in the game, coach. So, we've only got four entities. I wonder how long it takes to load the level. But I love this picture, man. The Romans look so cool. Oh, oh, there's the Colosseum in the background. And as you can see, today's weather, mostly sunny, uh, you know, with some sun. All right, so we've got, this is the Enchantress or the Elven Archer. This, oh my God, the Soul Tyrant. Oh my God, he's got a flaming sword. We got Chuck Norris. Is that even Chuck Norris? It kind of looks like him, but it kind of is just like a Rambo guy. And then we have the Golden Knight. Guys, I want you to place your bets. Who do you think will be victorious in the Tournament of Champions? I'm going to put my money on Chuck. Chuck, you know what you need to do. All right, so... Oh, my God. This lady's already putting out arrows. Why is everybody attacking her? Oh! <laughs> okay. Chuck! Oh, Chuck just killed her. Who's gonna win? And you know what we need to do, though? There can be... What? You can't even kill Chuck Norris with a nuclear bomb. All right. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of Chuck. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put, like, a lot of melee in there. Three brave heroes. The Golden Knight, who looks... orange... The Soul Tyrant with his Tyrant of a Soul Skull. And then the Elven Huntress with her blue tattoos. Hello there, puppet. She's got flowers covering her bits. <laughs> and, and we've got zombies. So, let's see. Now, they're not on a team. So, I want to see if they fight each other. If they go for the... Oh, you know what? Oh, you better turn your attention. You know what? Screw it, mate. Apparently, if you want it done... Oh, my gosh! Look at those effects! Oh, no. They're overrunning! We need to hide next to the soul hunter and protect him. The enemy of my enemy is my enemy, but also my friend. We need to keep him alive. Oh, the gold knight's fighting it out. You idiots! The soul hunter... What... What just... Oh my god. Where are the zombies? They just turned invisible. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> you know what? Let's speed this up because this is some weird stuff. Does she survive or does she get killed? Oh, what? I accidentally clicked a zombie. I, 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 want, I want it back. Speed it up. Look at that. What? I don't know what's going on in this build, guys, but there's some crazy stuff happening. We've got invisible zombies. We've got new heroes. I mean, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Place your bets, but I think that the zombies... Yeah, there's still 246 zombies left. I don't know if she's getting slapped by them or what. We, we can't... You know what? I know what's happening. We need a tornado. <laughs> oh, somehow the zombies are victorious. Everybody must die. You know what? That's enough. I've had enough of that. 
All right, guys, so let me know what kind of custom battles we should do for the next one. Should we do zombie outbreak? Should we do World War II with Germany versus the United States of America? Let me know what we need to do because there are definitely many opportunities for glory. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. My name is Ben, and I will see you in the next episode. Two videos a day. What should we do next in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator? And what movie was that quote from?